Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and in this video I will show you how to combine two population data sets from different years in Arwin and then generate a density change calculation from that combined data sets using Arwin tools of data set and table processing. So the first step here is to go to our portal and I have shown you how to get into the our portal in the previous video. And then here I'm gonna set my area selections to Greater Melbourne. So to do that, I'm gonna choose here and then I'm gonna choose Victoria. And then here I'm gonna choose Greater Capital City Statistical Area 2016. And then I'm gonna choose Greater Melbourne. So this is kind of a big scale of a data that I'm going to generate um, in Arwin. So here I will show you the tools that I'm going to use um, to get my data um, is to go to tools. And then here you can see data set and table processing. So here in the available item, they have um, several tools that you can use. Um, to manipulate your data sets. And here we have this join with key selection, which is, so the key here is um, to, to put the same key codes from two different data sets, then it will match them together in a single data set. So if you browse two different data sets, make sure that you select um, the same um, key codes from the attributes and then here in the in this tool, you can combine those two data sets using the key codes that they have in the attributes, and then it's gonna be um, combined together and into a single data set. So this tool is useful, for example, if you have two data sets that have the same key code, for example, SA2 code or VIFSA code. You can combine one data set that doesn't have geolocation into another data set that has geolocation. And then when you combine both data sets, then you can visualize data set that doesn't have um, geolocation geo before. Because now after you combine them, now it has geolocation from the other data sets. So um, to show you what um, these tools um, can do, I'm gonna just um, jump right um, into it. So the first step here, um, I'm gonna um, go to um, browse and then I'm gonna type in estimated resident population. And then click search. So here in the um, Victoria in future 2016, um, by household dwellings. They have the estimated resident population um, attributes and then this VIFSA code 2015. So this is this will be the code that can combine um, two data set, which is one data set I want the estimated resident population from 2011. And then I'm gonna add that. Oh, um, make sure you select the geometry um, attributes and then I'm going to add that and then the second data set is the same attributes with the same VIFSA code um, geometry and estimated resident population but the year I want it to be 2031 so my plan is to um, calculate the density change between 2011 and 2013 um, 31, 2031, and then from that calculation, then I will I want to visualize that in my map. Um, so to do that, after I get my two data sets here, the first um thing I'm gonna do is to um combine these two data sets into one single data set because. Here, if I want to make calculation, it it can only give me one data set input. So if I want to um, have the, the calculation between two, these two data sets, I have to first combine them together before I can calculate them. So to do that, I'm going to go to join with keys here. And then here, I'm going to choose um, 
the second one, this is the, 2000, the 2031 data set. I want it to be on the left side and then on the left and then the left attribute here, choose the code that you have selected on um, from the attribute. So if you want to use these tools, make sure that in your data set, in your two different data set, they have the same key codes. So here I'm going to choose the 2011 and then here again, the attribute I'm going to choose VIFSA code 2015. So after I have um, my um, data sets here, I can click add and run. So here after um, it's, um, the workflow is successfully completed, I can check my combined data by clicking on the display button. So here, as you can see, um, now the 2000 and the 2031 and 2011 is now combined together. Now that I have this um, combined data, I can um, then make the calculation of the density change between 2011 and 2031. Um, to do that, I can go back to tools. And then here, in gen generate, um, I can choose the output data that I just um, did. And then here, um, I can choose, so this is the left side, and then this is the, the right side. And on the left side is the, two th the 2031 um, estimated resident population. And then I'm going to minus that with the estimated resident population in 2011. And here, the new column name for that, I'm going to name it density change. And then here, I can click add and run. So if I click display, as you can see, here there is the new column of the density change between 2011 and 2001 in in the new column and this is basically just uh, calculating the difference between um, the estimated resident population in 2031 and the estimated in the in 2011 and then this is um, the result so if i want to visualize that density change into my map if i click here it doesn't have it doesn't have shape file so it means that my data here, it doesn't have geometry. So I, I try to do that. If I go to a map visualization and then I, I go here and I select that. And then the attribute, I select density change and then add and display. It will tell you that the data set doesn't um, contain, contain geometry. So if you want to um, visualize that calculation that you have, um, from those two data sets. Um, what you want to do is you want to again combine the data, um, the data that doesn't have geometry but the, have the same key codes with the data that have geometry. So here I can go again to um, data set and table processing and then again choose join with keys and then here um, I'm going to choose, um, it doesn't matter which one you choose, um, because these two data sets has geometry. So I'm going to choose um, the first one, which is 2011, and then choosing the VIFSA code 2015. And then here, I'm going to choose um, the, the data that I just um, generate. And then here, I'm going to choose the, F the VIFSA code. So these two code um, is the same code, and they're going to um, match these two data sets um, together. So here, if I click add and run. So here, after it's successfully completed, if I click display, as you can see now, my data set, the 2011, and the data set that has the density change now has geometry. So now if I try to visualize that, if I go here and then I go to, um, you probably want to rename your data set so that it doesn't really confuse you. 
So if I go here, so like my la latest um, data set, and then I go to density change here, if I try to um, display that, now it's gonna be visualized in my map because now it has geometry from um, 2011 data set. So here I'm seeing the density change um, visualization on my map. And if I want to compare that this change with the original popul estimated population in 2011, I can again go to um, visualize data set here. And then again, I can choose um, the same um, type here. And then I can select the 2011 um, data sets here. And then I can ch um, choose estimated resident population. And then here I want, maybe I want to change the color to have a different color. So here now I have the density change visualized on my map as well as um, my estimated resident population in 2011. And here you can see the difference and now you can um, combine the data um, based on your analysis. So this concept, it can, so you can um, choose whatever data set you want in Arwin and then using the same steps and the same context, using the same key codes, you will be able to generate the calculation and then visualize that onto the map um, using the data sets that you have. Also with this density change, because it is now has the um, geo geolocation data, you can um, download that data as shapefile and then again you can visualize that on Mapbox. So that is how you can combine and calculate data in Arwin. I hope um, this is um, going to be useful for your urban analysis project.